Yo, what is up guys? It's me, Curran, and in today's video, I have another merchandise review for the Super Mario Bros. movie. So it has been a while since my last merchandise review for this movie, that being the Fire Breathing Bowser figure. And since then, I have not done a single merchandise review for this movie. Although I still have some reviews to upload, like the pullback racer carts and the mini world figures. Now both of those videos have been filmed, but not edited yet. But don't worry because I will get those out as soon as I can. But anyways guys, here we have a new piece of merchandise from the movie. That being from Wave 2, which is starting to hit stores right now in the month of July. And here we have a new figure from Wave 2, that being Tanuki Mario. Also coming out in Wave 2 are new figures of Biker Peach, Kamek, and Cat Mario. All coming with their own realistic eyes, premium details, different sets of articulation, their own accessory, and will all retail for $20 each. Wave 2, along with Wave 1, can be found at Walmart, Target, Macy's, and GameStop. So, without further ado, let's get on with the review. Okay guys, so I have Tanuki Mario out of his packaging here, and if you're wondering why I have another Tanuki Mario figure right here, I will explain in one second. But anyways, let's take a look at the figure itself, Tanuki Mario, and right off the bat, I think this is my favorite figure from Wave 2. Um, in terms of the sculpt and mold, I think it's pretty good, but it's not much different from the Mario in Wave 1, with the only similarities being in the face and his body proportions, but everything else is different because he is in the Tanuki suit, which is one of my favorite power-ups from the games. Now in terms of the paint job and details, they are pretty good. In Mario's face, you can see lines in his hair and the little glass eyes. And then for the suit itself, it looks pretty good. I like the different shades of brown they were going for. And then I also like these little creases around the figure to give it that little furry effect, which Cat Mario also has in this new wave of figures. And then also the Tanuki tail itself looks incredible as always. And then in terms of articulation, Mario has 15 points. Um, you can move his head, his arms, his elbows, hands, legs, knees and feet, as well as the Tanuki tail. Now in terms of scaling, there is a bit of a difference. So for the movie figures, they scale in at five inches. And for the main series of figures, they scale in at four inches, which is only a one inch difference, which is a good thing since you can tell the difference between the two. Also, we cannot forget about the accessory, which is the Super Leaf or Tanuki Leaf, whatever you want to call it. And all I could say about it is that it looks pretty good and game accurate. Also, we cannot forget about this figure's accessory, which is the Tanuki Leaf or Super Leaf. And all I could say about it is that it looks pretty good and accurate to the movie and the games. So overall, this is a nice little figure to start off with Wave 2. And there you have it guys, a review of the Super Mario Bros. movie Tanuki Mario figure. Now like I said earlier, this is my favorite figure from Wave 2. And yes, I will try and get my hands on the rest of the figures, as well as some other stuff, like the play sets, or maybe this cool looking Mario Kart RC. But anyways guys, that's all I'm going to do for today's video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so that way you can hit the notification bell to get notified on when I upload my next video. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. Peace!